We have to talk about what happened this morning. You definitely haven't seen this, so I'm not even going to ask you. I'm just going to go right into it. Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk fight week. We're going to talk misfits in a second. But oh, I did see this, dude. You you did see this, okay? You know, like you know, like the wake up and scroll. Yeah, you're wake up and scroll kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, bro. So let's take a look at this. Uh, John Fury <laughs> going absolutely bonkers in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, at the behest of no one. Let's see if, if uh, this was a stunt, if this is just John Fury being John Fury, and why he can't just let his sons fight. Check this out. <laughs> Boom, son. All because the guy, with, they were chanting Usyk, and he goes, Usyk, and he goes, Doom. Doom. Here's oh, the thing. This headbutt. They go back and forth chanting this for a good little bit, and he's like up in some old guy's face to start, by the way. He's like up in another old guy's face going head to head with him. So much so that he has a hat on and the hat like <laughs> kind of falls off. And this guy is like the last of the Mohicans. He just walks by and he just kind of gives the Usyk. And John just says, nah, that's, Bro, that's, crazy. that's the final straw, right? <laughs> Headbutts him. I, I, I thought maybe something else was said. No, they were like, just the, now, they were just doing just the Fury now, Usyk thing. Yeah. It was Usyk. Yeah. A man has lost his mind. And then he took off. John was, listen, John was out of there. <laughs> He's bleeding, that's why. So that's Usyk's manager, I think, or his promoter. Where did he hit him, bro? How is he bleeding? He headbutted him and he started bleeding. And the other guy doesn't look like the he other had any guy, whatsoever. The other guy was like, what? I think what yeah. happened was he had one, John is like Ric Flair, and he probably bleeds very easy. But also, look where he lands. Oh, like the cheekbone right, or something? No, right like the here. Or orbital. Right on the uh, orbital, yeah. bro. That'll cut you up, man. You got to be careful. That's, yeah. bone, that's bone on bone action. Look at this. This guy's guy. or orbital should be broken. <laughs> no, dude. Heck? Nah, John's got that soft skull. He or ate that shit. He was like, cool. No, he it looks like he might have might have hit him on the underside. Yeah, the cheekbone. Cheekbone, yeah, it might have got him there. That's probably why. But John, John just, why does this guy look like the the Ukrainian schmo? What's he doing there? Um, dude, that's crazy. It's wild, dude. And it's John Fury being John Fury again. Now, what is, what is, what are we saying? What happened here? Headbutted and splattered, and now he looks like a little boy. The fucking idiot. We can't beat him up. We can't beat me. We can't be beat. No, where are we going? We are Spartans. We are Spartans. Now he's a Spartan. Now he's a Spartan, dude. First he's a traveler. Now he's a Spartan. And the guy, <laughs> what's funny is their point over there. Now he looks like a little boy. And John is bleeding profusely. I know. I from, like, the, bro. <laughs> from the forehead. First of all, like that, I don't know how how is that like a, a thing on your end? You're talking about he looks like a little boy after you just headbutt him. I was at a badge of honor that you headbutted right. him and you got fucked oh, up. Oh, he looks like a little boy and you headbutted him. And why does John like... Why are you headbutting little chance? boys, John? He looks like he's like taking a dookies, dude. <laughs> what? I mean, what you, like he squats and squeezes when he does his thing a lot. He does that a lot. The double arms in the, the air. double arms in the Tell air, dude. This one right here. No, go to the initial one. The initial one. It's the initial. We can't be. We can't be. So, you right now you can tell his feet are set. His feet are set, and he's dropping a little bit. Is that how you it's go, weird. Duke? Is that what you be doing? No, you feel like you'd be like more upright. You know what I mean? I've like, never been like a horse dance. <laughs> are you in a horse dance? You know what I mean? You know. What I mean? We can't be beat! Like, I don't know. It's, it's a crazy he's in his, He's in his freaking Spartan mode, dude. He's getting his feet set. He needs to after getting 10-7 by the freaking orbital bone, dog. We can't be beat! No, where are we going? It's we crazy. Are we are Spartan! We are Spartan! <laughs> and they just keep going back. Look at him. Look at him. Dude, wait, there's a different angle of this. This uh, Hold on. Bro, this man has lost his brain. There's a bro. different angle of that last part. And I think Ben Davis found it and he put it up. I have to show you. 
So what do we what do we think, man? Do we think this is going to be the way fight week goes? He's in Saudi Arabia. You got it. You can't play around out there, dude. He got in trouble. That's Remember? true. He got in trouble the last time he was out there. Oh, um, that's right. At the presser, and he was like, "Oh, you know, had to apologize." I think he's already apologized for this one. Yeah, I got it, bro. The so- is- listen, the Saudis keep John in check. Look at him here. Look at this crazy man, dude. It's like a fucking rabid dog, son. Literally, people like like in like wrestling. I mean, you get like he's a perfect to 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 act like that. Yeah, he's a man. Perfect WWE. He's just like that. That's why I called him Ric Flair. He acts a lot like Ric Flair, but he's bigger. It's It's amazing. And yeah, he's 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 real about it. It's amazing, dude. I love it. How about this, by the way? Did you see this? (laughs) Our guy been the Bay Davis. (laughs) Anthony Taylor, and of course, Mr. I know it all, and I mean that, Mr. Ben White. Now, t- <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Sensei's body's camera froze again. <laughs> oh my God, Perpetual Sensei is, is here once again, dude. <laughs> this is terrible. Um, <laughs> bro, why did you hang up on me, dude? No one hung up on you, bro. <laughs> the second time, guys, that he's hung up on. No, no one's hanging up on you. Uh, there was our guy Ben White over here, over here trying to do a show. Yeah, he's hanging up on me. All right, dude. Time. All right. Uh, yeah. There's our there's our guy Ben White. Um, hey hey Black, real quick, we're running a live show here, so stop asking us to read donos. We'll read them when we get to it. <laughs> you fuck. Uh, Anthony, we appreciate the 10. Hi, it's his name. His name is Black. I don't know what else to call it. What do you, I mean, that's what it is. What, do you, what am I supposed to say? Clip. Hey, hey, Wade and Sensei, I love you guys. Last time I donated, I got a new job, oh. but I was fired a couple weeks ago, but your guys' content makes me feel better every day. I'm job searching. What the heck? No, oh, that's you, bro. Can you hear me still? Yes, dude, I can hear you. Hang it up on me, bro. I'm trying to about. talk to Anthony here. If you'd shut up for a second. Um, but your guys' content makes me feel better every day. I'm job searching where I'll be appreciated. Anthony, thank you for the 10. Uh, once again, Black, fuck you. And uh, <laughs> Tig Truck with the 5. John Fury headbutted Sensei's camera. Anthony, man, wherever you go, whatever job you get, uh, we will appreciate you here. Anyway. 100%. What do you 100%. think about um We you... didn't get we didn't get um Tyson's reaction, bro. Oh yeah, we're gonna get Tyson's reaction. I was gonna say, what do you think about okay. this whole uh John Fury stick he keeps doing? Is this like cause I'm I'm told all the time that the Furies are fighting men. We're fighting men. And that means if one fights, we all fight, but no one's fighting. What are you doing? Yeah, man, but he's not changing. It's your it's your dad, dude. You know what I mean? It's your pops. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Might as well double down at this point. He, he's not getting any better. Yeah. It's not changing. At, I mean, so. I, it, it is baffling, though, because his kids still get surprised by it to some degree. Because here is uh, here is what Tyson Fury had to say when, when finding out what had happened to, uh, to Big John Fury. As soon as I assume he was like in an interview or something. And... He had to come through the door and see his dad after his dad's bleeding profusely from the forehead. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best part about this. Look at his his face go from like yeah Old interchange. to like what the hell. <laughs> He's like, I need answers. Fury! Fury! He's so confused. And it's because everyone's vibe, like, everyone's vibe is chill, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's like, you know, we're the Furies, and they're dancing and all that, and then John just takes it to another level, dude. Yeah, bro. Even the actual fighting Fury man doesn't do that. The actual one. That's what... That's what dads are supposed to do, dude. You know, you know what? What's crazy though? My dad would probably do some shit like that. Exactly. You yeah. know this, bro. Yeah, my dad would. My dad would. Be, my dad. 
would do the same thing except with a country <laughs> accent somehow. Or he would like pull out a gun or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen here, Wade, they get close. Yeah. <laughs> I got that thing on me. He told me that the other day. I was on the phone. He goes, I've, I've heard something online where they say I got that thing on me. Let me tell you, I got that thing on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> he's, no he's been reading the YouTube comments. And someone's like, yeah, Wade's dad definitely oh. looks like he has that thing on him. And he, he went, I think they're talking about my gun, and I got that thing on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's like an edit. If you get an audio saying that. I know. That, I, needed, I should have recorded it. And then beat drop. Boom. Beat drop on him. Uh, yeah, bro. Now, this fight is very, very interesting. We're going to get into our predictions later this week. But how you feeling? Fight week just opened up. How you feeling about the fight? Great, dude. This is what, like, you don't get fights like this often. Like, are you leaning right? one way or the other as of right now? <sighs> I'm, I'm going to leave Usyk, bro. By the way, look at the this shape, though, that Tyson's in, huh? Fantastic shape. Motivated. I haven't seen him look like that probably... since Klitschko. Maybe? You know, he's motivated ever since the Ingano loss, you know, which is expected to see. Yeah. But, but Usyk's just different, dude. He's one of those dudes that, like, you want to talk about the Furies being character? Usyk is not like a re regular person. Like, this is his demeanor, the way he talks, his mm -hmm. attitude. This man, you can tell he only does boxing. Yeah. Like, this is all he does. He, I, I mean, you know, the Ukrainian... Eats, sleeps, vibe, just fighting. The Ukrainian um, comparison obviously is is easy is easy to make because we just watched Lomachenko. By the way, what did you think of the Lomachenko fight? Oh, bro, beautiful. He's a master, dude. The way he just he just like he just glides back and forth, and you barely see any reset. Like the fact that he doesn't reset when he goes to like re go to punch. You don't see not it's non telegraphic, no loading on punching, and no resetting. Fact. It's just in and out, bang, sliding right to combination. And he finds power in those shots as well. Yeah. Like it's insane that you because you don't see like no setting of the feet to like throw. Yeah. You don't see the progression of like a normal punch where it's like set feet and throw. It's just I'm gonna be moving. Like I'm in a freaking video game. And then as soon as I get close enough, beep bing. Yep. It's like he's on ice skates, bro. And the crazy, crazy part is he's not ever really out of range either. He's doing all that while standing in front of you. He's not running away. Bro, he, what Pressure. he does is what you want people like Shakur Stevenson to do. You know, when we talk about yeah. how good defensively Shakur is, if he's that good defensively because he's able to, to use his feet and get away from people and slide around and move laterally, what about Lomachenko who will stand in front of you and do all that and then counterpunch you? Bro. Yeah. He, it's different. He's the best... I mean, this is going to sound controversial. He, in my opinion, is the best lightweight fighter still on the planet. 135, yeah. it's him. I think it's him. I would love to see the tank fight, which I think hopefully we'll get if, if he beats Frank Martin. And then you have Shakur, but I think that is the most interesting matchup you can make. Loma, Tank Davis. Yeah. That's the one. Make that fight happen, buddy. Yeah, man. It's because you'd see like the the clash of styles versus that's a hundred percent. What is and let it what, rip? Yeah, exactly. What does Tank do with a guy like with with a guy like Loma? Right? How do you how do you as as low a volume puncher as Tank is? How do you deal with that kind of high volume and accuracy? They said something like Loma's accuracy he lands like fifty yeah. percent of his punches per round, and Saturday he landed fifty percent of his power punches, son. So it's like. You gotta, you gotta punch with a, a guy like that. A guy moves well like that and counters so well. But you gotta like throw more you than one. To... You can't throw just one at him. Facts, facts. But you, you, that's the only thing I can think of. Is tank, if the tank throws with him and he trades a jab for you know an overhand or something like that, that's that's how he's gonna get him. You're not gonna set a trap on Loma. You're not gonna walk him onto something. You're not gonna. Your volume is not gonna do much to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like Wonder Boy. It's like Wonder Boy. A guy's going to use a lot of feints, a lot of movement. Like, when he decides to go, yep. if, you try to count, if you try to counter him, it's too late. Yeah. If you try to, like, block and go after, yeah, right. He's already hit you a couple times after that. you got to just sit down on the punches, bite down the mouthpiece. Yeah. You know? And that's where I feel like the punches that I've, like, remember Loma's 
I mean, even the, um, who was the guy that dropped him? I can see him right now. I just don't remember his name. The guy that dropped Loma? Yeah. I can't believe I forget his name right now. I don't even know who you're talking about. Uh, it was with a straight hand. I think it was a straight, I don't know if it was the right hand, but it was a straight, I think it was a straight left hand. Would have been something. No, right hand, yeah. What I do know is, um, what, while you're thinking about that, that name, what dude. I do know is, Tank is such a selective. Yes, with an L, right? Yes, Linares. Oh, Linares, okay. What yeah. I do think yeah. is that, and someone said it in the chat, and it's a good point. Uh, Loma still gets hit. Right, even if it's to the body, right. which which Devin used in his game plan, right? The body work was something that he really <clears throat> doubled and tripled down on. Cambosis tried to do it, just didn't have the footwork to keep up where Devin did. It would be a matter of time before Tank found it. It's just, does he find it clean enough? Does he find it often enough to stop? Because Loma's willing to take a lot of those punches to be where he is. Right? You see his faces after fights; it's cut up, and he's got all the bruising. But it's, it's because of the style right, sure. of fight he wants to be in. He doesn't want to be out of range. He wants to be able to, okay, I'll take a couple. But you're going to eat volume after volume, and I'm, eventually I'm, I'm going to ramp up to a pace you can't keep with me. So That's up a thousand cuts. Yeah, there you go. So I, th that's the fight I want to see. Um, I think it's, it's doable. Again, Tank has to get through Frank Martin. That's not an easy fight by any means. Uh, so we'll see. But the, what I, the point I was going to make is there's a little bit of a comparison. You talked about Usyk and how he's different. I think that um, I think that Usyk does have a lot of the same qualities at heavyweight as uh, as Lomachenko does, right? Yes. Not just the the southpaw stance. Not just the active footwork. Not just that he's a, a smaller guy fighting up in his weight class, but. All those things combined with the fact that he is still putting power on bigger guys and, and stopping them. I don't, I don't know that this will be the same fight that he's seen really at heavyweight at all, but I do think those things present a problem to Fury that really no one has. Like Fury's had big guys yeah. that can crack in front of him. He's had smaller guys that can crack in front of him. He's had boxers, he's had people that he can outbox, but he hasn't had a little bit of that combination, at least not in a while, that Usyk's going to bring him. Like, since the Klitschko yeah. fight, you know, where he's going to have to outbox him. Right, right, right. So I'm, I'm interested. In yeah, he's, he's, he's always had that advantage. It's always weird, like, stylistically, when you have to fight someone who has, might have an advantage or cancel you out at your game, Yeah, typically where you have that edge, you yeah. know? It's like, it's like an open stance or, like, just like styles, whatever it may be. You you got you typically have the better jab, and now you're fighting somebody who has just as good of a jab. Yeah, I you know I, I, mean? I want to so, see I want to see um, how how Fury handles a lot of that inside game that that Usyk's definitely going to bring him. I think the body work from Fury, uh, if we saw anything in the Daniel Dubois fight, it was that when Dubois put some pa some punches on Usyk's body, he did not like it at all. Um, but then that means you need to be you know in that space where, where Usyk is, is successful. So we got, we got a lot of time, man. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. As this week goes on, not only the fight itself, but the John Fury show, which is always an entertaining one. But you better be careful, man. Like I said, the Saudis, man, don't play around, bro. He already came out with a public apology. Already tweeted it out. Damn. Yeah, bro. Let me see if I can find it. They got to be on quick. You, you just can't play around out there, dude. I remember when I, I don't think they're not in Dubai, but I remember when I was in Dubai, and I pulled my camera out in public, and those motherfuckers were like, uh, what? No, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Dubai does not play, bro. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, no. You got it. For sure. Uh, here's John Fury's apology. He says, sincere apologies to everyone involved. It's just the way we are. Emotions and tensions are running high. He was a very disrespectful fella. This guy's just walking by. If you come close in a fighting man's space, you're going to cop for something. What? What matters to me is respect for my son, and he wasn't showing any of it. He mentioned my son, and that was it, so we had to have it. It doesn't bother me. He's talking about bleeding. It's what we live for. We're fighting people. That's a regular occurrence to me. And then someone put the fighting man, and it's just a bunch of collages of John Fury getting stopped. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. <laughs> 
Internet unde- is freaking undefeated. Undefeated, bro. But he is the fighting man. No bro, one called that's him an apology. No that's one called him a, a, a winning man. He's a fighting man. Yeah, that's not an apology. <laughs> Besides the "I'm sorry" part, none of it was an apology. <laughs> he just said it was a justification I'm sorry. for his behavior. He said, "I'm sorry, but not really." That's essentially what he said. No, he said, "This is why I did it, and I'm gonna do it again." And I'll I'm do sorry. it again. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's and I'll do it again. And I'll do it again. <laughs> And I'll apologize again right after. But this is the, like, the, the stuff he's saying, at least unless it was like off camera, none of that was happening. I don't see that guy no. disrespecting Tyson. I don't see him even saying Tyson's name. I was like, name. oh, sick. Bam. <laughs> oh, <what the> <laughs> Hold this. That's definitely PR made up for, uh, for, for Big John there. Look at this. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. Yeah.